Mario, when I talk to physicists and cosmologists, uh, one of the most uh, heated emotional uh, questions is the, is the anthropic principle, where some people think it is absolutely trivial, other people think it is uh, dangerous because it can impede science, and others think it is, a, it is a, a major tool that can help us discover new things. Uh, where do you stand on this spectrum? I would say I'm probably somewhere in the middle in the following sense. I keep my mind open to the possibility that some of what we call, let's say, constants of nature are not coming out of some first principles, but they are rather accidental. And uh, of course, they have values that are consistent with our presence here. Uh, the place where this anthropic principle started becoming really interesting is with the concept of the multiverse. Because once you start thinking of the possibility of having a whole ensemble of universes instead of just one universe, then you start to think, okay, so in different members of this ensemble, in many of them, maybe life could never emerge or complexity could never emerge, you know, or even galaxies maybe never emerge. Sure. So we, of course, have to be in the one that uh, where this... And this then opens a possibility of maybe understanding some things that otherwise are very difficult or perhaps impossible to understand, like the value of the cosmological constant, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. that causes the cosmic expansion to accelerate. Mm -hmm. So I am in favor of using anthropic reasoning, you know, to think about what could be the consequences of having this, you know, ensemble of universes. I'm not for saying, okay, uh, everything I don't understand is, is anthropic and therefore I don't need to worry about mm. it. Uh, do you think there is danger in uh, anthropic thinking? I've not seen from serious physicists a real danger because I think every one of us would still have liked there to be uh, an explanation from first principles if we can find one. So I don't see a danger Well, there. the danger is giving up too soon and that the anthropic principle is an excuse or a mechanism to say, I can't find it, I can't find it, I can't find it, oh, therefore it must be anthropically generated. Yes, but you know, I mean, most physicists aren't like that. I mean, they, they would still try to find an, mm. a, another explanation. So, mm. so I don't th see a real danger. Maybe we need to worry a little bit about someone new coming into the field, you know, a young person coming in and hearing, you know, some physicists say, well, this is probably anthropic. And, you know, since they don't know the background and the whole story, uh, they may think, oh, well, in that case, maybe I won't work on this and so on. But uh, people who are in the field already, I don't think that there is a great danger. Yes. Is there concern that the anthropic principle can be misused by uh, uh, people who maybe have a religious uh, orientation? Everything can be misused by somebody. But uh, you see, in some sense, I don't actually see a real danger there in the following sense. I'm not, I'm not sure how one would use this to strengthen religion. Because if you have a huge ensemble of universes and all possible combinations of laws exist out there, then in some sense, so, okay, so what is the role here of some deity in all of this, if all possibilities exist? Um, so, I, yes, people can misuse it in the same way that they can use anything, but I don't see that this specifically argues for that. Well, the argument would be uh, using anthropic reasoning in place of a, mer of a multiverse. And it, it, the, the, the flow of reasoning would say, because physicists have determined that you need anthropic uh, reasoning, and if there is no multiverse, then you are forced, the argument goes, into some sort of a non-natural explanation, and then they would go to their particular yeah, uh, theology. I, yeah, I would think that from a physics perspective, if there is no multiverse, then the anthropic re, uh, uh, principle becomes kind of empty, because then all you say is that the universe has to be consistent with our presence here, which 
it's, it's a of course, <laughs> of course, true. But what have we learned? I well, mean, well, what we what we've learned is if there, to continue on your reasoning, if there is no multiverse. Uh, but we needed a multiverse to explain the anthropic because of the the the, uh, the extreme unlikeliness of that. Then you you forced to get some other kind of explanation. Well, or 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 you say, well, this is just the way it has to be. Well, yeah, I mean. I think you are actually forced to, in that case, to, to find an explanation from first principles as a physicist. But suppose you can't, there are no uh, answers. For yeah, but you, you don't know that, right? I mean, we don't know to what there are no answers and to what there are. Certainly not in advance.